what happens after an incident of exertional heat illness is directed by ongoing clinical lab results, medical observations, plus conversations with the recovering service member. How are you, how are you feeling since, uh, since you went down? A little better? You were kind of out of it, a little combative yeah. there for a little bit? I don't remember anything. You don't remember anything? I just went for a run and then... Depending on the severity of the incident and other factors, immediate next steps may include a return to quarters, a period of observation, or transfer to a higher level of care. Laboratory follow-up includes a blood panel repeated at defined increments. Researchers believe that persons who have had an incident of heat illness can be more prone to a relapse or follow-up incident. Typically, the clinical course of exertional heat stroke follows three distinct phases in the hours and days following. Acutely, the service member should be assessed for changes of the central nervous system, gastrointestinal, pulmonary, and metabolic systems, as well as a systemic inflammatory response syndrome. Hematologic and enzymatic disorders peak in the 24 to 72 hour period after the incident. The service member should be watched for disseminated intravascular coagulation and rhabdomyolysis. Late impacts at the three to five day mark may include liver failure or acute kidney injury. In some cases, it can take several days for other serious issues to surface. Okay, so I want you to just kind of take it easy today, all right? Um, mm -hmm. We'll have you come back in again tomorrow, all right? Mm -hmm. So I'll see what the live results are today. We'll talk about those tomorrow when they come back in. In the meantime, I should drink plenty of water, okay? Get okay. plenty of rest. It is important to note that not all EHS cases progress through the three phases. Early cooling may avoid clinical deterioration and the complications may be avoided. Clinical decision-making requires experience, anticipation of potential complications, and a skilled medical team.